this is just absolutely ridiculous, yo. Like, I'm literally, I'm literally can't evening right now. I'm actually glitched. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm. It's a positive glitch, though. Like, this is an MOT survival run, and like, as you can see, on the bottom right, there's no timer for my second ability. Yet I'm invisible. There's also no Octavia glitch or anything like that. I'm just simply glitched invisible. You guys don't see me. I can't use my second ability. Like, I'm straight up glitched, guys. I'm straight up glitched in invisibility mode. I don't have to activate it. I don't have to do anything. As long as I don't get into an all-fire field technically. Hey, man, I can't do an all-fire field. Holy shit, I'm probably invisible, guys. Nothing. I did not do anything. Like, I'm just glitched. I'm just gonna be glitched. So like, I don't know, I can shoot. So why is it that I can shoot like that? You know, like I pressed, yeah, I think, I think I understand why it was in holster mode. Like it was holstering. So like I couldn't attack during the holster animation then. Something like speed holster would have sped that up or streamline form. Yeah. Damn, my axe levels are absolutely disgustingly powerful. It was really Something like, uh, what's it called? Um... Well, but I have going on here. These guys are all like level 100 plus, you know what I mean? And so I also makes quick work of them. I'm happy about that. Crack open that relic for me. So you guys can like, see like the amount of damage it is takes from this thing. I'm not in challenge mode, I don't have like all the buffs from my own yet. Like, nor is the combo multiplier even stacked up on this thing that much. It's probably like 2 or 2.5 times by now. And it's like 2. Okay, so it's a pain. I wanted to modify the shield, but I still can't activate it. Like, I'm trying to get it. Consequence of a diamond. you get like downed while being permanently invisible it's like there's no way to be in the world there really I'm like I don't even have a sentinel on me bro I have a freaking Kavar Smita which isn't even like near me like, well, it's near me but not like actually next to like the sentinel would be so 
I don't, I don't know. People are going for the for the prime. I'm like, hmm, really? There's an Ash Prime Neuro here. Even though it's only worth like 15, like 10 to 15 plat, it's still a little something, something. I'm gonna use a new H1 right now. No, I was gonna use that. I double clicked it, but it's too late. Okay. Kinda like, oh shit, we need two rotation left, so I might as well use the last two. There it is. I was trying to save them, but I would say that was like the last bit. That was alright. No, apparently a 3 times power multiplier, this thing does stupid damage. Ouch. Poor enemies. Running out of time. Consider extraction. This is freaking crazy. That should keep you going for a while. I 
I should stick with the squad, don't I? But like, I, I have no fucking enemy spot for this as well. But look at that, I clearly went into the military ship shop. I clearly went into it. Like, there are no explanations, so no excuses, but I'm just a little freaking bug. This is a freaking bug. But it's a good bug. Cause I'm infinitely invisible, I don't have to do shit. Where'd he go? Okay then. So I'm gonna go home in this channel actually. He's going home channeling so I don't need energy. inside this right next to me. I'm literally right in front of this guy and like I can't use abilities. You clearly see exactly what's going on. I can't use abilities. Like what the fuck? Like why am I invin like why am I invisible? What's going on? Like Octavia's buff doesn't last in this. My buff doesn't Another last in this. Like like there's no excuses. There are no excuses. Like this is a bug. And I'll take that. Ridiculous, dude! Infinite invisibility with no energy and like, no fires can't even break it. Like, dude, what the hell? That's that's on a what? Why? I'll take it, but why? Why is this allowed? Okay, so, oh, there's a guy who's down. Where are the enemies at? Here. Yeah, that's just freaking crazy, man. That's crazy. This is just crazy, man. Like I, I don't know, I, I don't know what the, what the thing, bro. Like the ability to stand within a nullifier shield and be completely undetected because of this bug. Like, did you see that, guys? Like Octavia's buff would have been over, or Loki's buff would have been over. And not only that, but further proof is that I can press my second ability, and it's his abilities in use. So it's totally glitched. It's absolutely, extremely, positively, absolutely glitched, bro.
share in this faction. Hold out as long as you can. True, yeah, that Neza guy, yeah, man, that Neza <laughs> would have been a freaking trouble. I guess a guy who is like one of these super squishy warframes, yeah. like Neza is squishy AF. Like when I say squishy AF, I mean like like you can freaking bench press Neza as a like as a five year old girl, bro. Like you can be a five year old girl and bench him, bro. Like like he's that freaking squishy and light and just just no, bro. Neza is not ending. He's not meant for endgame, bro. You can put, you can put on armored agility and steel fiber with vitality and quick thinking, and you will not be lasting, bro. You can give him all those survivability mods, and he will not be lasting, bro. Like, and you can do like just a dedicated no ability, just simply just tip on tank, and he is not gonna survive shit, bro. <laughs> like what Nessa's good for is being mobile and agile, but here, bro, like that that don't help. That don't that don't help against level 150, is because you can't dodge everything, bro. You need to have like Titania Razor Wing type of race in this on top of his mobility just to have a chance of like surviving. Either that or just flat out invisibility, which is what he's doing by getting Octavia's Nocturne buff, so lucky guy. Lucky that exists. It's actually freaking retarded though, like look at this buff guys, I'm not using my second ability at all. WTF, bro. Everything's just gone down. Damn, so low. Oh, no, they're reviving him. Okay. That's just freaking crazy though, man. <laughs> These guys can't get past the melee, bro. You, you wanna see something funny? Oh, I was gonna say, you wanna see something funny? Check out my non potato, non forma um, Prisma Gracadas with like literally nothing on it because I just brought it here from rank zero. And I'm like just test them out against these enemies, but no. Uh, the reason why I say now is because I have a really good color multiplier. I don't really want to lose it. But what I could do is do this. It looks like no freaking damage whatsoever. All it does is staggers them. I'm new in the fire. Just to keep that color multiplier up, I'll like add in some occasional hits here. But yeah, it doesn't do jack shit. It doesn't do jack shit, bro. Yeah, I saw my combo multiplier. Look at this shit. The relic buff. Can't last for another 15 seconds or so. I had to like do that, go get those little hits in so that we can continue our buff. Apparently this is just gonna last forever, man. And I have weeping moves with condition overload on this with my dollar ribbon. So I mean, this thing is just disgusting. Cause viral slash box everywhere. Since my ribbon is plus crit chance, plus attack speed, and then plus coal with my weeping wounds, and then prime fever strike berserker, drifting contact, prime to reach, and we're looking good. There's probably one more mod there. I forgot to mention. I think I don't know, but. I mean, if I did mention it, uh, I, I don't know, um, but yeah, 
pretty much my my pet is invincible and then it has hunter recovery so like i gain hp back whenever it damages an enemy and then i also have a pack leader on it so whenever i get a melee kill then my Kavat is also healed up, so it's pretty much like a like a tandem thing where we heal each other as long as we're doing damage, which is pretty great. Little slash procs are like just eating away at him. Look at those slash procs, bro. Like he just going die. Wait, what just happened? I saw his HP just go up. Like he did. Oh, I know that because like the viral, he was viral proc, and then like the viral proc went away, right? So like his halved HP, like multiple, like multiple halved HP. Um, you're the one who's really bad. Bruh. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. <laughs> On the next one. Okay. Um, what's my combo? Okay, perfect. Well, I might as well stay in that mode now because I don't have that relic boost from the mid ammo. I wonder how my X Lettles are doing in terms of DPS though. Let's check them out. They seem to be falling off in that room. Finally, it's about damn time, bro. Like, he's gonna kicking ass for way too long, bro. There we go. Finally, look at that. Like, these guys are actually taking some hints now. Oh shit, teammates need to do it. That ray yield disarm comes in clutch. I can like walk right up to nullifiers and say use my freaking sword on them now. Dude, this is actually stupid. Like, this is a low key who gives no fucks about anything because he has like the ability to do anything he wants now. Like, he can just like walk up to nullifier and just like chill. Like, I can just like freaking have a seat like, yo, it's good. I'm in a nullifier bubble just like taking a seat and like my invisibility is level 150 leech Xmas right the fuck next to me, bro. Like, what the hell? That's freaking retarded, bro. And I'm at four times combo multiplier, dude. Like, do you know how freaking godly this is right now? Unlimited invisibility, guys. With freaking four times combo multiplier in the melee. It's like WTF, bro. It's like, why is this even a thing? Like, I don't get it. Like, I, don't, I really don't freaking get it. Like, why? And look how, like, look how freaking bulky you are, bro. Like, his HP is like barely going down. Look at that, bro, with the continuous viral and slash props, and finally goes down. These smaller guys go down, though. This went like, like, like 4.5 times combo multi. That's what he made after this, lol. Yeah, at this point, you know, it's invisibility and just like try your best next to the lap. At the end of the day, like, the unlimited moves doesn't really change much. Like, in terms of, um, my survivability, except for the fact that I can't, like, chill inside nullifier bubbles, you know, but it's like, I can always recast them, I always have energy to recast it, so it's not like that's ever a problem. The only thing is that, like, I can't, like, walk up the nullifier bubbles or sit like, right next to them, you know, like, I can't do that. I, I have to, like, take them out differently by, like, strafing around their bubbles like this, or, like, or, like, doing that, you know what I mean? And, like, just going straight through them and, like, reactivating my second ability. Or just like timing it and just not doing my um leap forward combo. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I'm about to say, is that like life support or something? I'm like, why is my HP going down? Um, my calm um, toxin proc. Alright, I'll quit thinking on those, so I'll just. I'll be fine. I'll go ahead and activate some life support. Okay. Life support activated. Damn, son. This is freaking crazy. Four times combo multi. 
which is good stuff, good stuff. We want that combo multiplier to stay up. Keep that DPS up, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's just freaking stupid. Like, this is like, this is so cheap, bro. <laughs> like, this is such a glitch, man. Damn. Like, I don't know how I did, like, I didn't, I didn't purposely do this, you know? It's like, it just happened by total fluke, and I don't know how to do it again. But, like, this is freaking overpowered. Like, this is an OP bug, bro. Like, this is an actual OP bug. Like, I don't know why this is a thing, but... Damn. Okay. Someone seemed to doubt it, get it so long. Right. Ooh, now he's going down pretty quick. Like that, two people did like that. Like, I don't know what the hell I don't know what the hell the freaking extraction point is, but like, I'm not showing my map. It's like, it's almost as if it like glitched out. It's like, I don't see any green marker on this map. I see like a, a flashing, and it might be that little brown or black glitch flashing thing on my map. Certainly devastating. This is fucking ridiculous. Oh, these guys like screw you out. I don't need them. Okay, fine. I'll just like kill things. Deal with that shit. Oh, these guys are extracting now. Like literally right now. Rip. Okay. Well, that was that. I had a fun time. That's definitely pretty interesting, man. Like I, I, I haven't seen anything like that before. I really haven't. Hmm. Question is how many void traces did I get? Ooh, we got some axie relics, of course, but what are the void traces? Ooh, that's a pretty good number. Interesting. Oh, I can sell that for some plat. Alright, but yeah, guys, so I mean, that was that. It's a pretty freaking fun run. Not my loss. I'll keep my relic. <laughs> okay. Double blow. Okay, then. Anyways, um, this is the build that I was using on the Zaw, which managed to like, bring me up in the endgame pretty well. 
80% damage block. I'm surprised about that though. Like, I, I, never, I didn't even know that existed to be honest. Like I saw it there sometimes but I just never really paid attention to it. This is the ribbon which I'm really loving you know because like the finisher damage on it doesn't affect slash procs at all because it's a different kind of finisher damage so I'm like oh fucking great and like no one uses finishers on this like this is not like if if I was making a dagger then, then it's obviously want to be changed but this is not a dagger this is a pole arm it's a stab technically so it's like you know yeah the negative finisher is like a, like a really good negative for this I'm pretty happy about it, like the weeping wound seems to help out. Like for endgame, like I could always try I could try blood rush, but like I don't know man, like I mean a twenty five point two percent stats chance is too low for me to like really dismiss weeping wounds, you know, like at that point kinda want it. It's like if I really wanted to do something I'd have to like maybe go like blood rush here and then um a violent scourge here. And like I don't even know what that would bring my freaking Stats up to like 36. Oh my god, that's 36. Okay, um, hmm. Let's see, 36% status. Hmm, it's not there. Uh, uh, I'll just keep it like this. I understand why I did it like this. So, anyways, um, yeah, this was like literally just this. It's doing like absolutely nothing. This is for mastery. And then the X Littles are just doing their own thing. This is like they're doing their own thing, man. A little ribbon there. So yeah, like that's pretty fun. This guy's like, by the way, how do you do so much damage? You're both on low key, but you double my damage. I'll just give him. This guy's like, how the fuck did he double my damage? <laughs> he literally asked me how did I double his damage with just this, with just this, uh... Yeah, this is a ridiculously overpowered weapon. And like, you guys can tell, I definitely, well, actually I can't tell anymore, I only have like two ribbons here. But before I used to like bear, like ball of ribbons, I was like trying to like cycle and roll through until I can get specifically plus attack speed plus cold, and then good negative. And eventually I got one with that plus crit chance on it, so I'm like, oh my god. But I ended up buying it, and I don't even remember how much I paid, I paid like 150 for it, or two, no 200, I paid 200 black for it. And, dude, this was so freaking worth it, man. Oh my gosh, I'm loving the shit out of this, bro. Like, the guy who sold this to me for 200 platinum did not know what he was doing, bro. Like, he must have been thinking that that the Bala was a Za, like, only, I mean, he must have thought that the Bala Za was only for daggers and that the negative finisher made it instantly unusable because of covert lethality and shit. And he's like, oh, negative finisher on daggers or shit, which is true, but they, that person who sold it to me must have forgot about the fact that um, the Bala... Um, freaking blade could also be used for stabs, and that's where he fucked up, man. Cause like he could have made so much money. Cause people who know what they're doing know that this is like one of the best possible rivers that you can get for this weapon. Cause like Prime Fever Strike is the strongest elemental mod for melees, and the only way to get viral damage to pair up with that is to get cold on the ribbon. And if you want to save a slot, you have to get cold on the ribbon. And then like the attack speed always increases DPS and shit. Like it's just. It's like literally one of the best possible rivers that you can get for this. Like, I don't see how I could change the negative to make it better for a stab. You know, like, even negative slide crit's kind of annoying. You know what I mean? So, eh, I don't know, but no, it's definitely a fun run. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this little video. Um, as I said, I don't know how this little glitch happened. I just know it existed because, like, it happened.
He doesn't even want to know my. You don't even want to know my Valkyrie build, bro. Bro, you don't even want to see my 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 Valkyrie. Bro, you don't even want to see this stuff. Like, when you guys see energy conversion, whenever you see energy conversion, just hit the deck. Hit the deck. Just hit this thing. Stop, drop, and roll, bro. Hit the fucking deck. Like this is a ridiculous build. Like I I I I. I I tried. To, I, I don't understand how I could build this better for like Eternal War. Like, if I wanted to go for a full Hysteria build, I could definitely change up something. Probably, but. <laughs> yeah, I have no more copies. I wish I kept an extra the freaking Prime Fever because I know these are gonna go for a lot. Like I sold my original one that had maxed out for like 400 and like 25 platinum. I'm like yo, like it was maxed out and it was like my last one, like my last copy. But I'm like yo, for that price I couldn't turn it down, so I had to sell it. And I'd like go try and max this one out sometime, which I don't have enough to do. Obviously, it costs way too much, like 20k endo, and then boom. Wait, what? All I need is endo? Oh, I can do that then. Fuck it. I'll just like go ahead and buy some max rank ribbons, like 7k each, and then boom, that's nothing. All I gotta do is like vendor some ribbons and like buy some more and then I can easily get that endo no time whatsoever. I have like a Glaxion around here I believe. If I'm not mistaken. I, I might be mistaken. Let me check. I, I should have like some sort of like um, max rank trash ribbon I can like get rid of. What I have an Azima. I have an extra Azima. I see. And I have like no Kuva left. I don't really need Kuva because like with these ribbons and shit it's like you, you don't need freaking Kuva, bro. You don't you don't need Kuva when you got shit like this, bro. I'm just like going ahead and like just brag. Oh well, no, I, I don't think I bragged enough about my dread ribbons. Like I was going ahead and like brag about the dread. So like, boom. Well, I like all like most of them are pretty damn nice. And this one I was gonna like roll on twin croakers. I'm like fucking. I could get rid of this to be honest and put it towards the but it's like I should have a different one that's like maxed what the fuck I, I bought like a max rank trash mod somewhere and I don't know where it is and then instead of course I'm why why I don't want this not really I understand why I kept it though because it has a plus fire rate plus damage which is actually really good for the static core because like it, it, it charges up but like what's the fire rate it's only 30 odd percent and 118, uh, it's like a really poor disposition, so it seems. Same thing with Spirit, it's like a really low disposition too. I was trying to get plus crit chance, plus crit damage, plus damage on a negative. I've tried for like a really long time for that, and then I ended up giving up because it's like too hard. I stuck with this. And it's doing well for the most part, um, but who knows, I might want to might wanna try again for it because like I know that the crit chance or puncture would be such a big difference maker. Uh, even if it has no negative, I'd still appreciate it, just cause, like that, that higher crit chance means orange crits instead of yellow crits, but it is what it is, the Penta, uh, it's, it's a really good weapon, and I like this ribbon, so I don't know if I want to get rid of this, but I should have some sort of freaking trash ribbon around here, what the fuck, did it go, oh my gosh, I should have some sort of trash ribbon to sell, because I saved it, did I really get rid of it, oh man, I must have gotten rid of it,
how much? Like four. That's technically. I don't want a low ball because this already is low balling like crazy, bro. But it's like. Is a straight up low ball to be honest, but like the only reason why I'm low balling him is so bad is because one, I already have Nova Prime, and two, I already have a freaking Neo V1 Radiant. Much like if he wants to negotiate, I'm still down to like increase that offer, bro. Mm. Like, I don't really see why he turned down for, like platinum. It's like I'm sure he doesn't really care about them, like, he doesn't seem to care about them.